In this video, I will be walking through the interface of raw power when browsing the photo library. There is another video which focuses on features you get when browsing files.app, but even if you use files, you may find some things of value here. First is the album view. At the top is the recent section. The first item is recently viewed, which collects images you have recently looked at or edited, which is great if you like to look at or show the same images over and over again. Recently viewed albums appears next in the list. After that are the built-in system albums, like all photos, favorites, selfies, and more. Albums that you have created appear next. If you have folders, you can tap to view the albums that are stored within them. Finally, the shared and synced albums appear. You can show or hide sections in this view as well. The main menu at the top lets you access help, settings, send feedback, and more. There's a toolbar at the bottom. The first button lets you make albums. Tap and then name your album. Next is a button to access the Halide camera app. Halide has a companion button that'll jump to raw power as well. If you want to store images in the Files app instead of the Photo Library, tap the Files button to jump there. Tap the Photos button to come back. The last button is Album Search. You can type part of the name of an album to quickly find it. Tap on an album to go into the grid. In the grid, you can see an inspector which shows you all of your albums metadata, and editing controls. The inspector can be on the left or the right of the screen. Just drag it from the titles. You can tap the I button to show and hide the inspector. The inspector is only visible when the device is in landscape orientation. If you hold your device vertically, then the screen layout is different and there is no inspector. Use the library tab in the inspector to quickly jump between albums without having to go back to the previous view. There are two ways to add images. One is to tap the plus button when selecting images. The other is to drag and drop images. Tap and hold on an image, move it a little bit, and then tap additional images to add them. Then you can drag to an album to add them. When you're not selecting images, the bottom toolbar has controls to add albums, filter images, there are four criteria for filtering, and change the sort direction. Tap on an image to go into the one-up view. In the one-up view, you can view photo metadata in the info tab and edit images as well. You can tap the edit button in the corner or the adjust button in the inspector to switch into edit mode. There are a set of default adjustments already present and you can tap the Add Adjustment button to add additional ones. To see the controls for an adjustment, just tap on the name. You'll see a box next to the name of the adjustment. Tapping that turns the adjustment on and off. That way you can see the effect that that adjustment has on the image by itself. On the other side of the adjustment is a menu. That menu lets you reset the adjustment back to its default state or add and remove it from the default set of adjustments. The default set is the list of adjustments that appears whenever you try to edit an image. You can change the list of a default adjustments to be your favorites, which makes it really easy to adjust images quickly to your liking. You can also reorder the list of adjustments. To do that, Tap on the tools, then tap reorder. You can drag the adjustments into your preferred order. For example, you might want to put crop early in the process because you prefer to crop images before you do other operations. Other buttons in the edit interface are export, which lets you export to a variety of formats, sizes, and profiles and export either to the photo library or to files. Show original, which shows you the image before and after adjustments are applied. Undo and redo. When you are finished editing, tap the Done button. That's a quick tour of raw power for iOS. 
Please check out the other videos on this channel to learn about the features in depth. Thank you for watching.